Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 online game. Today we have the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New Orleans Saints here in the Superdome, and Taysom Hill off the lateral on the opening kick return gets to the 21-yard line. Taysom Hill does not have an X-Factor in Madden 20, so he is not the man of the hour. But you know who does have an X-Factor? Michael Thomas can't guard Mike already at it again at 24 yards on the first offensive play of the game. We will be trying to activate Michael Thomas's X Factor ability today. See just how good Michael Thomas is in Madden 20 because in the actual NFL this season, you can make a pretty easy argument that he has been the best receiver in the NFL. So let's see what Mike's all about. Third down and five. You know we're looking for number 13. It's Teddy Bridgewater at the quarterback position. And Michael Thomas makes a tremendous diving catch in traffic for the first down. Two out of three on the double meet X Factor counter. Bridgewater underneath. That's Taysom Hill. First down. And Taysom Hill all the way to the five yard line before Wagner gets him. Bridgewater looking and down he goes taking a bit too long and Ezekiel Ansa makes him pay second down it's a minor setback for an eventual major gain as we find Jerry Cook up the middle that'll put the Saints up seven after the opening drive in yes we are using Teddy Bridgewater instead of Drew Brees I figured it'd be fun to use Teddy since you know Teddy did pretty well in his time you know standing in for Drew Brees while Brees was hurt so we'll have some fun with this one since it's not Drew Brees' video it's Michael Thomas's video as you see my opponent early and often going to Chris Carson so right away he lets us know that in order to slow him down at least we need to try to take Chris Carson out of the game and we are not doing that great of a job of it so far so now it's just time to you know come out and run defense and force this guy to try to pass the ball or maybe run the ball with Russell Wilson you can't get away from Cam Jordan that easily Wilson goes down third down and five and it's a design quarterback draw for Russell so Wilson then loses the Seahawks a yard and after that play my opponent kicks the three points and honestly if you're gonna call a quarterback sneak right there I just go for it on fourth down but I'm not using the Seahawks today I am using the New Orleans Saints and who am I to question any sort of play calling after I just lateral the ball to Taysom Hill again and we're only at the 14 yard line to start this drive off and I just forced that pass to Michael Thomas here's Alvin Kamara trying to get some yards to make it at least a third down and manageable doesn't quite work out for us so third down and 10 why not chuck it downfield to Michael Thomas that might be why Blair is there for the easy interception and you can see I'm kind of just forcing the issue of Michael Thomas just trying to see how much I could get away with as far as you know how much of a beast Michael Thomas might be but you know even though Madden 20 is not exactly the most sim form of football you can't just chuck up streaks this is an arcade mode as Chris Carson gets the first down for the Seahawks we're already under two minutes to go in the first half this game has flown by pretty quickly as Wilson eludes too but goes down eventually Rankins gets him Carson swallowed up by Vaughn Bell third down and 18 and there's only 34 seconds left in this half for Wilson who is able to connect with with the impressive rookie D. K Metcalf for the first down that stops the clock Wilson using that escape artist trying to run away from the defender kind of playing with fire right there but he's gonna hang on to the ball call a timeout it's a screen pass to Carson outside got the first down and stops the clock here's Wilson quick pass looking for Dixon and that probably should have been intercepted as he hands it off to Carson and this will pretty much take us to the end of the first half it's just a matter of whether this guy gets three seven or zero if he doesn't go a timeout. I don't know what's going on here. Five seconds left, and finally he calls his second of three timeouts, and the offense on the field. Wilson, wow. That was not the smartest decision there, but the Seahawks, thankfully for them, are not going to get intercepted. That was quite the interesting drive right there. My opponent kind of just clocked himself at the end there. I thought he was having some decent clock management, then it just kind of blew up in his face. So the good news for this guy is he gets ball coming out of half. That's bad news for us, though, because I'm just trying to get Michael Thomas touches, and instead I got to watch this guy. Like, he's just scared to throw the ball downfield. You could tell he's just, you know, trying to run around, around just use Chris Carson, use Russell Wilson. You got some great deep threats on the Seahawks, but you wouldn't know it watching this guy play, like Metcalf, Lockett. Who are those guys? We're just going to give Chris Carson the ball every single damn time. So, as I said, we're going to, you know, lock up the run at this point and force this guy to try to pass this ball or do something with Russell Wilson. Third down and long, and Wilson is in trouble. 
we contain right there. I'm not letting Russell Wilson do any magic on third down. He's going to have to work from inside the pocket. My opponent didn't want to do that, so Cam Jordan made him pay, and he's got to punt the ball in this situation as Harris is blown up at the 34-yard line. We got Michael Thomas on a post route. He's got like post-cross specials or something like that. Uh, doesn't quite work when you force it into coverage, and for the second time, we force the ball to Michael Thomas and get intercepted. So uh, getting Michael Thomas open, giving him a chance to make a, a catch, in traffic works out really well for us as Lattimore makes the catch in traffic that'll be an interception for us but yeah just forcing the ball in traffic there to Michael Thomas just like an idiot doesn't work as you would expect my opponent only rushing two here on second down but Michael Thomas still gets open deep and that will activate double me for Michael Thomas late in the third quarter and the Saints are looking to extend the lead a perfect opportunity to hit up Michael Thomas right well not just yet first things first let's try to run this ball in with Alvin Kamara. I don't want to waste double me right now since there's not much space to work with at the goal line. So second down, we're going to go back to Kamara. Down goes Alvin. Didn't stand the chance. Third down. Now it's time to see what Michael Thomas can do on the fade route. Bridgewater finding Thomas. Oh, but he didn't get both feet in bounds. I'm not sure he got either foot in bounds. A spectacular catch, but it's fourth down and goal. Michael Thomas is out the zone. We're still going fade route to Thomas. Thomas, who is wide open, but sails out of bounds for the turnover on downs. Oh, that is sickening. Oh, you thought that was sickening. Next play, Tyler Lockett, gone, 97 yards, and the Seahawks have the lead. Oh my, oh my. I was just trying to goof around with some goal line fades, and you know, it worked. In essence, it's just Michael Thomas just kept on going out of bounds. Maybe you just call him fades at like the three or two yard line isn't really the moving man 20. I don't know. But, you know, I figured if that was ever going to work, it would work with an X Factor going. I suppose not. These lateral kicks, you see, I'm just really goofing around trying to get the ball to Taysom Hill at all costs on these returns as we lob it downfield for Michael Thomas. And Trey Flowers says, Michael who? Can't guard Mike? I can. I got this. And now we are in a great position to lose this game. And we have no one to blame but ourselves. Considering we've thrown three interceptions just trying to force balls to Michael Thomas. Like, there's one thing trying to get someone in the zone. There's another thing just doing what I'm doing out here. Just a bit too reckless out here. It is fourth down in inches that we will see if Russell Wilson can get this first down. Empty formation. And it's still a running play at the end of the day. Russell Wilson up the middle. Oh! He gets the pass off the DK Metcalf. But we were sniffing that RPO out instead second down and three Carson battling but going nowhere actually losing a yard as we call a timeout here trying to force the issue here on third down and three Wilson shotgun he's actually looking to pass but he's not gonna get the pass off heavy blitz knocks him backward and out of field goal range to make this a two possession game that was a huge play in the game because now here's the punt from the Seahawks and what a punt it is we have to go 97 yards to at least make it a one-point game and you know Michael Thomas has to be involved if we want to move this ball downfield running hurry up here about 90 seconds left in the game can Teddy Bridgewater come up clutch for us can Teddy Bridgewater get the play off because all we're doing right now is killing time we're dressing the play up all nice but man at this point if it's not a touchdown this is a waste of time finally we get this snap off and it was all for a check down to Alvin Kamara. Oh, what are we doing? We're just basically blowing this game. We still have 65 yards to go. And now a minute to work with. Bridgewater gets the snap. That's a bit more quick. That's a nice pass downfield. That's the way you want to get it done. Michael Thomas, all of a sudden is one catch of over 20 yards away from getting double me activated for the second time in this game. And we might need Michael Thomas to get that big gain if we want to get this touchdown. Bridgewater, great protection here. Downfield we go! Oh! Trey Quan Smith at it! But Flowers decletes him! Second down, clean pocket! Bridgewater to Thomas! And Michael Thomas simply can't be guarded to the one yard line and that is double me again and watch what we are about to do a one timeout remaining 22 seconds left it's michael thomas at quarterback on the option and there goes the final timeout and a loss of four yards in the process michael thomas still has double me going we're going to thomas and he's got it touchdown thomas and the saints 
Michael Thomas coming up clutch. He still has double me. And we're looking Michael Thomas' way to potentially try to win this game in regulation on the two-point conversion. But the safety is shadowing Michael Thomas. So, rather than, you know, run the play, and even if we run the play, we can throw the ball to someone else and win the game. Michael Thomas has this double me. Let's just take this thing to overtime. If we make this kick, Will Lutz up and good. We'll try to take this game to overtime and see if Michael Thomas can win us the game then because he's got double me, man. If we get the ball on offense, especially with that coin toss, we should be good, right? But, of course, we have to make sure Tyler Lockett and Russell Wilson don't dagger us in regulation because we all know how clutch Russell Wilson can be when he runs the ball. Well, maybe so! Russell Wilson gets a nice gain calling the timeout. Six seconds left. Now in position to run the ball again. Russell Wilson, nice gain, but does nothing more than set up, really, the Hail Mary. And that's what this game is going to come down to. Russell Wilson backing up, just gets it off for the win in the air and down on the ground. Metcalf might have had it for a second, but it's knocked out. And we are going to overtime here in the Superdome. And Russell Wilson, Seahawks win the toss and they will definitely be receiving. There is a chance that Michael Thomas can end the game on fire without a chance to win the game for his squad. Uh, uh, oh my if we do that i'll be sick so let's make sure we get this stop even if we hold him to a field goal that's fine just don't give up that game winning touchdown and we can do our thing wilson running into his own man and eventually escapes running into saints recklessly but still holding on to that ball again a six play action wilson looking running in trouble and down he goes all of a sudden the seahawks have abandoned the run game third down Five wide. What can Wilson do with the bullets? Oh, Cam Jordan had him. But Wilson gets it off to Dixon for the first down. The gamble fails for our defense. Here comes the pressure. Wilson extending the play and tackled for maybe a gain of half a yard right there. Here comes a running play to Chris Carson. Juking out Bell. Falling forward nearly for the first down. Third down and one. Single back Carson. But it's a passing play. Wilson middle. Oh, what a play by who is that? I don't even know who knocked that ball out. Either way, four down and one. And the Seahawks offense on the field. It's a handoff to Carson, and he's down. AJ Klein forcing the turnover on downs. A clutch defensive stop means we only need a field goal to win this game in OT, but we're trying to win it with a touchdown to Michael Thomas, who is on fire downfield. You can't guard Mike. You gotta double that man at least, Trey. And now we're at the six yard line trying to win this game with a touchdown, cause why not? Michael Thomas is doubled, but who is watching Teddy? Whoa, Bridgewater takes the hit, but after he scores the game winning touchdown for the new Orleans Saints, an absolutely dominating, clutch, insane performance from Michael Thomas helps us win the game and Teddy did his thing out there, man. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, shout out to my opponent. I mean, we kind of kept him in the game goofing around, but we made it a close game. Made it fun, I suppose. Do it for the tube. Hashtag do it for the tube. Why not? And yeah, that'll pretty much do it for this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. If you guys enjoyed the Michael Thomas show. Subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays. And I'll catch you guys next time after we check out this Michael Thomas stat line. Eight catches, 233 yards. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> On that note, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching as always.